Hey guys, I am so excited. I stopped to check the mail and my alley mail was there. I was not expecting it to arrive until next week. So I'm pretty stoked that my new story kit has come in the mail, which means I can start playing a little bit sooner than I had anticipated. I thought that I would do a quick flip through, walk through product share with you, um, showing you the kit. So this is the right kit and how fitting is it that you get a pen with the right kit? Right as in writing on paper, not right as in I'm right and you're wrong. <laughs> this pen is super duper cute. Um, I know that it writes in black ink. I have not used it yet, but I know Allie used it in one of her videos just recently. So it is black ink and um, I think the heart is just too cute. There are also these little note cards. I'm going to open this up and I apologize in advance for the crinkling because I know that it is um, magnified on the phone. Now I do believe that you are able to pull these little bits of paper out of the pockets. So as you can see, they're all craft and they, oh no, you can't. Good to know. They are all attached and they all have something different to say. The first one says, take note for the record, write it down and documented. These are super duper cute. Um, I envision just writing little bits of notes, probably using all four of these on one layout. Maybe we will have to see. I absolutely love these. They remind me of um, library cards. Very cute. Then we also have the word right. The Ali Edwards sticker kind of hides it, but that is what it says. So that is super cute. Then we have some die cuts. I'll open this up too so that I can show you all of them. Again, I'm sorry for the crinkle, but I'm having trouble. There we go. Okay, so we have this super cute little heart. It's actually not little, it's a good size. Um, maybe two and a half or three inches at its tallest. And then maybe the, let's measure because my measurements, historically, I'm way off. So two and a half, roughly two and three quarters tall at its highest, and then wide, it's about the same. So just about three inches. So decent size, which is super cute. I really love the typewriter, very, very cute. If you really wanted to get persnickety, you could put in all the numericals and alphas. Like write it in or stamp it if you have a stamp tiny enough. That'd be kind of fun. Super duper cute little pencil die cuts. A computer screen. The little heart is cute. Cell phone. When I first saw this die cut, I immediately thought of um doing a story on what type of texter I am so I'm looking forward to doing that story you are either in one of two camps when you text either you write novels or they're two word sentences <laughs> I'm in the camp that writes novels each and every text so what texter what kind of texter are you what camp do you fall in let me know in the comments below and then these awesome speech bubbles that I'm sure you've been seeing all over the place on Instagram. Got a couple of those as well. So that is the die cut pack. I love the size of these. They are a good size. They're huge. Love that. So they make a statement. We have some more phrases, word stickers. These aren't actually stickers. I think they are... Just the phrases, actually, they may be adhesive. I'm just trying to look on the back here. Um, I think it's just craft cardstock, though. And so you'll have to adhere them yourself. But love those. 
I'm a huge fan of these guys right here. For a long, long time, I wanted more of these in my stash and I didn't know how to find them. I used the Tim Holtz ones for a long time, but there was only a couple books that I could find with the mini phrases and words in it. Since subscribing to the story kit, they have come in a number of the kits. Not every single one, but most of them. So this will be number three that I've gotten so far. And I just started subscribing at the start of this year. So we're in May now. So three out of the five kits have had these in them. So if you are like me, good reason to start looking for kits like this if you want to stock up on these little guys. We also have chipboard flare. Fill your paper with the breathings of your heart. I love that quote. To write means more than putting pretty words on a page. The act of writing is to share a part of your soul with the world. Bring on the words. Read more. Write better. <laughs> These are my words and this is my story. And writing is thinking on paper. That's a good quote too. Love these. Then we have the journal cards. These are, it's going to be a mix of both the 3x4 and the 4x6 journal cards. I'm just going to slice this open. And we will go through them. Super quick like, once I get them out. There we go. And this will be really quick. Um, so there's a good chunk of the three by four journal cards. Well, there's a good chunk of four by six as well. Writing my story one word at a time. Writing is hard, easy. Um, myself and my girls both can fill in the easy box. All three of us are writers. Current favorite words. Oh, that's a good story prompt too. Especially if you have kids that are teens or preteens, some of their words are not what I'm accustomed to. So that would be a lot of fun. Even comparing words that we said as kids to what kids nowadays are saying and the definitions. I'm going to have to think on that one because I think that's a really good um, prompt. This is how you do it. Okay, am I the only one that thinks of that song? This is how we do it. Uh, anyways, you sit down at the keyboard and you put one word after another until it's done. It's that easy and that hard. These words in this story and then take note. So those are the three by four cards. Now the four by sixes. Writing my story, how I felt about writing as a kid and how I feel about it as an adult. Words matter, words I love, words I dislike, words that bring comfort, words that make me laugh, words that remind me of being a kid. This card and this card, where'd it go? Would be so awesome together in a layout. Especially if you ran with comparing words from our childhood to kids nowadays. Would be a lot of fun. Words for you, some thoughts for you right now. This would be good too because one of the story ideas that I had was writing a letter to my daughters, um, especially about this season in their lives right now, just a letter of encouragement. Um, so I can see using that card for that particular story. Here's how the story begins. Words for me, a few things I need to hear right now. And then just uh, alphabet in the background. Love these cards. And then we get to the paper. So there are some three and a half by eight and a quarter inch pattern papers. There's usually just a couple of these in each kit. I like to use these as inserts and then on the back side of them, either putting a photo or um, a journal card and my journaling or more photos or just using the backside for a totally new page. Um, so there's one word at a time, and then here are the words on my heart right now, things that matter to me. And then comes the six 
by eight pattern papers. I don't believe these are a little bigger than six by eight. I think they are seven by eight and a quarter, which is the same size as Allie's page protectors that go inside her albums. I scrapbook in six by eight album size. Um, I have recently transitioned from traditional 12 by 12 scrapbooking to six by eight. I haven't totally written 12 by 12 scrapbooking off, um, but I'm not making a huge effort to scrapbook in that size either. I really find that, um, I really find that scrapbooking in this size for myself is a lot easier, especially if I want to incorporate more words. Um, I really struggled marrying the two when I scrapbooked in the 12 by 12 size. So that is why I have transitioned. It's not for everyone. Um, this is just what works for me. I really, 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 really love the plus sign paper and the colors. It just speaks to my heart. I love it. I think I will be hoarding this <laughs> for a while. Oh, and then there's this. This is really nice too. I can never get enough of a grid. Can you guys see that? If I hold it up closer, are you going to be able to see the grid in the paper? If not, trust me, it's there. It's uh, probably a slightly darker shade of gray than the background. And then there's some script in the background as well in white. So pretty. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. For some reason, looking at this, I don't know which one it is specifically. I think it's all of them. I can't help but think of Herbie from Punchbug. What was that movie? It's Herbie, the little race car, the little bug, the little bug that could. Anyways, that's kind of getting off topic too. But uh, anyways, fantastic papers, fantastic products. I have stories lined up already to document using these products and I cannot wait to share them with you. I have a Facebook Live happening tomorrow for Scrapbook Nerd over in the Scrapbook Nerd Facebook group. I invite you to join me. It is for International Scrapbooking Day and weekend and then there will also be challenges happening over in the Scrapbook Nerd shop as well. So if you are in the neighborhood and want something to do definitely come check us out otherwise i will be back again probably sometime next week with a new layout using the right story kit thanks for joining me today friends i hope you're having a fantastic week and i hope you enjoy the rest of your week take care